Hello, collective. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, thanks, first off, for all of your support, guys. Thanks for all of your messages. Um, I've gotten a lot of messages, so thank you for all of those. I have read them all, um, even though it's a lot. It's too much to respond to, but nevertheless, I wanted to do a shout out here. Um, very appreciative and um, welcome all the new subscribers as well. Thank you. And um, yeah, guys, thanks for all the likes and the comments too, okay? So I'm going to do a collective reading. Um, we're just going to see what spirit, the Holy Spirit wants us to know at this time, what's important for you to know. So um, remember, this can be past, present, or future, okay? Um, it can be reverse roles. Take it how it resonates for you. And if you're interested in a personal reading, those are open for this uh, time being, okay? And the information is in the description box below, okay? So let's see here, guys. Holy angels, archangels, and the Holy Spirit, our spirit guides around us, guiding us, protecting us on our path. What is it that the collective here needs to know at this time? What is happening here in the collective at this time? What does the collective need to know? Let's see. Ace of Swords at the bottom. Okay, so that's truth and clarity. Nice, so we have strength coming out first. The Ace of Wands in the middle, and then we have the Hermit. So this is giving me a very powerful realization, okay? Um, especially with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands, this is a very powerful thought. This is like an epiphany. This is like a download, okay? There's some sort of a, a powerful realization here. And I feel that because strength is, it's like this, right? Well, actually on my table, it looks like this. So. I gotta make it reverse, guys. Hold on. <laughs> so the hermit is looking with its lantern at the Ace of Wands, right? So this is how it looks on my board. So there's some sort of a powerful realization here, and it and it has come from somebody going within about a situation, or somebody has gotten some sort of powerful insight. I feel like there's an there's something that has come from within so it could be within someone's mind or someone's wisdom but i feel like it, it almost looks external like um like the powerful thought or the powerful realization came and there's a hermit here someone that's very wise and reflected that's looking at this and also realizing that that's what it is it's like oh i can recognize that this is a very powerful realization okay something like that <laughs> Huh? Okay, let's see what this is, yeah? Why is strength here for the collective? Why is strength here for the collective? It has something to do with the Queen of Wands and the Five of Wands. So this is curious because that just came out in Taurus as well. I don't know if this Queen of Wands is a Leo, okay? She's coming out with strength. The Five of Wands, there's conflict here. Eight of Pentacles having to do with work or something that someone was working on or something that somebody is trying to master, something that someone has created, is um, working very hard on. There's fighting going on about this there's some sort of conflict here surrounding a queen of wands and what this person has been working on okay i'm getting a nose itch okay what's this ace of wands the four of swords and the moon in reverse yeah it's giving me like an epiphany i don't know the star It's like something has been made clear to someone here with the moon in reverse and the four of swords. Like this is even something that could have come in some sort of a, um, a resting moment. Like 
a lot of downloads will come and they hit you out of nowhere, right? They hit you in maybe like a, a sleep state or a meditative state, like when you're resting or when you're um, almost when you're al almost asleep or barely waking up because, oh shit, I forgot what it's called again. Isn't it the gamma rays? Okay, when you meditate, your brain produces gamma rays, I believe. Man, it's been a long time since I read about the waves that your brain produces, right? But that's why meditation is so powerful. It has something to do with brain chemistry and the waves that your, the frequency that your brain produces while you're in meditation. And it, the gamma ray, I think it's the gamma rays. Man, if somebody knows, put it in the comments, okay? I'm gonna have to research after this again or look it up. Um, but it's very similar to the rays uh, or the waves that your brain produces when you're in that like um, almost falling asleep state, right? So that's why you can get some sort of downloads there as well. Um, but also elements. Because I'm seeing something here with water, okay? Like um, the elements are very powerful as well for getting downloads like any contact with water with earth okay barefoot on the grass hugging a tree kind of a contact okay um fire that's all very significant so i don't know someone here has had some sort of a powerful realization it's almost giving me that moment of like someone is laying in bed and all of a sudden it's like you got your eyes closed and all of a sudden you open your eyes you're like oh Oh my god, I get it now. Like that kind of a thing, okay? The star, it feels like something that was... If something feels so significant and powerful in some sort of a realization, but I don't really know what it is yet. What's the Hermit? Six of Swords in reverse. The Knight of Coins. And Judgment. Yeah, whoever this hermit is, is someone who was trying to figure something out, okay? That's what I think with the Knight of Coins. This is someone who was trying to think something through very logically, very practically. They were taking their time. Knight of Coins is someone that's very slow moving, okay? Very slow energy. They like to be thorough. They like to take their time. They like to make graphs, diagrams, lists right? They need to check all their boxes. They need to, they do the double editing. This is someone that's very careful and, you know, very analytical. And they were trying to figure something out. But the Six of Swords in Reverse is giving me that whatever this was, there was something that they couldn't move past, or there was something that wasn't letting them go, or there was something that was like keeping them stuck. Like, um, it's like when you're trying to figure something out, and for the longest time, like this could even be months where you're just like stuck on something. You're just like, oh, I just don't know how to do that. I just don't know what that is. I just don't know what to think. I just don't, like there's something missing. Like I just don't know. And then from one day to the next, like you're just laying around and something just hits you out of nowhere. And you're like, that's it. Like it's a really weird feeling because it's almost like, why didn't I think of that earlier? But in these kind of things, like sometimes when that happens, I believe that certain doors are opened in divine timing. And that even has to do with our own th thought. Like if we're not supposed to come to a certain conclusion too soon, then our th own thoughts get blocked. But this is like a download, right? And that's why downloads I believe are very divine because sometimes you just get that spark, that idea that you just never thought of before, but it's like, now I, now I have a new lead or now I can go a new path or now I know what to do. Now I know who to talk to now. I, and it just hits you out of nowhere. And that's what I'm getting here. And it's something that made someone feel stuck for a very long time. They just couldn't figure it out. Right? Huh? So tell me more about strength. Why is strength here? The seven of cups. Yeah, confusion. Someone was very confused or somebody was looking at all of these different options. Like someone had a lot of different options here. Or someone was in some sort of a, and it wasn't allowing them to have that 
they didn't have the download. Someone here didn't have the download. Ace of Wands in reverse and Seven of Cups. There was too many options. There was too much confusion. There was too much illusion. And someone didn't have the download. Someone didn't know what move to make, okay? So what was it that was confusing them? What was it that was causing so much confusion? It has to do with taking action here. Seven of Wands. That almost looks like somebody is like um, warding something off, right? Like it's like blocked thought. It's like a creative block. It's like blocked thought. Like this is free thought, right? This is free movement, free thought, and this is a block. Like something was blocked here. But was it blocked on purpose? Was this conclusion here blocked on purpose or page of pentacles? It has something to do with an investment or a money investment or a new idea or a new business endeavor, 10 of pentacles. It has something to do with a large amount of money and some sort of a payment maybe or some sort of an investment or um, some sort of a business investment or I feel like it's not the same thing. I feel like this has something to do with this, but it's not the same thing. It's like an investment or a payment or um, investing your money into something, buying something, doing something with money, okay? There was some sort of confusion around this for a long time and an illusion around it. And someone felt like they couldn't, they didn't have the spark. They just didn't have like, like the click moment. I don't know what to, how to say it. So who's this queen of wands? The king of wands. Okay, so we have fire signs here. Three of swords in reverse. Which is about healing something or healing some sort of heartbreak or pain. Three of pentacles in reverse not wanting to work together anymore, not collaborating on something anymore, not working together with someone. Not working together with someone, not collaborating with someone anymore. Who is this Queen of Wands? An official person. So the Queen of Wands is some sort of an official. She's an official person, okay? Who's the King of Wands? The King of Wands is someone who wants a breakup or someone that is not in a relationship with someone or someone that doesn't want to work together anymore. What's the Three of Pentacles in reverse? Concern. So there's concern here because Someone doesn't, and it's three, three, three. Look, three, 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 three. Three of swords, three of pentacles, and then three, three. And the three of swords is in reverse, the three of pentacles in reverse, and then we have the three, three in the upright, which is concern. So there, there might have been a, someone here that was concerned about something. So they didn't want to work together anymore. Huh? Why did somebody not want to work together anymore? Because of family. And we have the Queen of Wands at the bottom as well. Somebody didn't want to work together anymore because of a family or because of a community. Two of Wands. Somebody was made a decision or a choice based on family. What's the three of swords reverse? Okay. What's the three of pentacles reverse? Paradise. 
Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Someone felt like they couldn't find a solution with someone or they didn't want to work together with someone or this was not a group effort. Somebody was not collaborating. Someone was not trying to find a solution because of paradise, because of enjoying each other, because of happiness with family. And this is concerning or this concerns someone Uh, I'm, I'm missing a piece here. Who is it that doesn't want to work together with someone? Eight of Wands, it comes out again. Who is it that doesn't want to work together? The King of Wands. So a King of Wands doesn't want to work together with the Queen of Wands. Why? Because, because of somebody thinking about something logically and practically and rationally and thinking something through thoroughly, the Nine of Swords. Why does the King of Wands not want to work together with the Queen of Wands, who's an official, out of concern? because of somebody's stability or because somebody takes makes hasty decisions somebody makes hasty decisions or somebody lies or somebody has been lying somebody has been making hasty decisions without thinking about long-term consequences or someone has been lying or manipulating something, or somebody has been uh, maybe even verbally abusive. But why does somebody not want to work together because of happiness? Because of happiness, because of family? The star. Is somebody concerned about their family? The seven of cups. There's some sort of an illusion here. There's some sort of an illusion here or somebody was in an illusion or somebody was not seeing something clearly or someone clearly. Tell me more about this queen of wands. The High Priestess. Whoever you are, you know who this is. You know who this is. Someone doesn't want to work together with this Queen of Wands because this person has been... Someone has been creating an illusion here. And now someone is concerned because of the choices that someone has been making. Six of Wands. In order to have some sort of victory and success. But why is somebody making decisions here or choices based on family? Nine of Wands to protect themselves. Six of Swords and get away with something. Or move on to calmer waters here with, the, with money. Nine of Pentacles with a lot of money. Or get away with their stability. Or this has something to do with their job. This might have something to do with career. Because it's, it's kind of giving me, again, like if this is the same thing, because it's kind of giving me Taurus reading with like a family business or something like that. Because it's coming out concern about family, but a lot of this is tied to money. So there's some sort of a fight within a structure. Like, I don't know if it's a family structure. I don't know if it's a business structure. There's a fight here within different ranks of authority. Be it just like um, the elders and the youngers, youngsters, or something that has to do with actual structure. But that's what it feels like. Someone doesn't want to work together with someone because they're concerned about the choices that someone has made 
regarding family or for their family, someone is creating illusions. Now, this is coming out that the Queen of Wands is an official, so this might be some sort of like a business setting, okay? Or something to do with authority, I don't know. But someone here has been making decisions based on their own career, based on their own money, based on their own financial stability, and whoever this is is very defensive and is trying to get away with something. They're trying to leave something behind. They're very defensive and protective over something. And it might have something to do with family. But now someone doesn't want to work together here. And this is a cause for concern because of some sort of heartbreak, some sort of betrayal surrounding um, a move that someone made or a risk that someone took. Someone feels betrayed by a risk that someone took. Why? Why does someone feel betrayed by that? The lovers. This might have to do with a relationship. Some sort of heartbreak, some sort of pain and betrayal. A risk that someone took here with a lover. The Tower and the Queen of Wands. So it's almost giving me like that there's two people. I don't know, was this like a secret relationship? Like nobody knew that these people were an item. No one knew these were a couple. Like it's, if this is a business setting or a company setting, then it's like nobody knew that these two people were together and they might have secretly worked together to protect each other or something like that. Is that what this is? The Five of Swords. Yeah, somebody did something deceptive here or there's some sort of, there's deception. There's lying and deception and um, manipulation going on with a Queen of Swords. Seven of Wands and somebody being defensive or somebody fighting back or um, blocking something on purpose. Somebody has been blocking something on purpose, but this is betrayal. Somebody feels betrayed. So what's the lovers? Is the lovers, is this a work partnership or is this an actual relationship? What is the lovers? The world. The six of swords. This is somebody trying to get away with something, leave something behind. Someone's trying to close a chapter really quick and leave it behind. Someone's trying to close something out and leave it. Just pretend like it didn't happen. Like someone is trying to dip out really quickly here. Ten of Wands with the King of Cups at the bottom. Who is it that feels betrayed right now? Who is it that feels betrayed? Someone feel, definitely feels betrayed, man. Ten of Swords. Who is it, though? Who is it that feels betrayed right now? Somebody that thought that they were working together in a group or collaborating in a group or somebody that's realizing that a group of people were all working together? Who, who is it that feels betrayed? Five of Wands. It's about a fight within a group. Ace of Cups and Judgment. Fighting about an offer that was made. Fighting about a relationship, maybe. Five of Cups. There's sadness here. Help me understand this dynamic a little bit better. I'm kind of... Um... So somebody created an illusion on purpose here and it has to do with a large amount of money and it has to do with some sort of a, a payment or a bribe or an investment or something like that. Which again is giving me that energy off of Taurus's reading at the end where I said there's that secretary or assistant that's sitting at the, at the computer like stealing something. It's kind of giving me a carry over off of that. But I feel like there's more to it. 
Tell me, help me understand this more, this role between this King of Wands and this Queen of Wands and not wanting to work together anymore. The tower, there's something that happened that was shocking, some sort of a shocking revelation, a shocking epiphany. Something very uh, shocking here because of a Queen of Swords. What do you mean? Some sort of communication about lovers. So I don't know, is this a Gemini? The lovers keeps coming out. Some sort of communication about a lover or a relationship. But whose relationship is this? Three of Pent, it's a work relationship. It's a work relationship, that's what I feel. It's giving me like secret lovers at work. Secretly helping each other or something like that. Secret lovers at work. But why is this a tower? Why is this so shocking that these people were working together? Because of a message. Because the truth about a message, that's why. Because it's illuminating some sort of truth about a message or messages. The truth about a message, the truth about messages is that there's a group here that's collaborating together and they could even be lovers in real life. Like they could be a couple. You know what this is giving me? Like, I don't know why I always get like the most random things like, like downloads, but this is how I can maybe explain it from sometimes I watch, I watch a lot of like YouTube videos, random things, okay, documentaries and stuff, but there was, there's a case and this just happened, this case, it's very recent. It's with the nanny, the au pair nanny that um, was dealing with the, hu the husband. So there's a younger girl living in the family's home and she starts having an affair with the husband, right? So, you know, those two, think if they want to have a happy life and run off together they're gonna to have to get rid of the wife so the way that they go about it though is so curious because this man this husband is an investigator for the IRS so this is someone that is um, part of a force and he knows how he needs to commit the crime to try and get away with it so he knows that there needs to be a suspect they need there needs to be a motive there needs to be everything clip and clear so that um the family or the husband and the, and the nanny don't be looked at as a suspect because they're having an affair right so what do they do they create a fake profile pretending to be the wife catfishing this random dude that doesn't know anything about this pretending to be the wife um hold on so they um in this fake catfish profile of the wife, they are pretending she's into things like BDSM, they're pretending she's into things like knife play, like really weird things. And they, with this fake profile, they start talking to this um, random masculine and flirting with them and getting this masculine to come to the house, right? So then at the, at the house, the way that they commit the, the murder is that they first kill the wife, okay with a knife and they have her naked okay then they get this random person to come over to the house thinking that they're meeting this person is meeting the wife who's not even you know she doesn't even know she could have even been dead nobody knows right when this person got there and then the nanny and the husband shoot this intruder the person that's coming to have an affair with the wife and claim that they were shooting this person to protect the wife. So then when the police gets there, there's two murder victims, right? There's the wife and this person. And this is how they tried to set it up to make it look like it was a knife play gone wrong, right? Like with the catfish profile of the wife saying, oh, I'm in the knife play, bring your knife. And then, oh, when the police gets there, the wife is naked, dead, killed by a knife with this person that she was texting on the internet who was just also just collateral damage in the entire murder plot set up by the nanny and the husband. Like, that's what I'm getting off of this though. It's like something was so confusing because there was a relationship 
and there was like multiple people like two two lovers or a relationship that were like plotting something together to make it look like something that it's not and they were then i don't even know if they were also just pretending that they don't know each other like if this is a work thing and these are employees somewhere they might have even been pretending that they're not in a relationship or they don't even know any, know each other something like that and the whole time there's like messages going back and forth and it's these two maybe it's these two right like it's like that's why i'm getting with this nanny and the husband like those two are sending messages back and forth pretending to be the wife with some random person and it's all part of this weird th illusion okay something like that like i don't know why i'm getting that here so if someone here is concerned i don't know maybe someone is concerned that this queen of wands who could be an official or in some sort of an official position was claiming that she's not working together with that person or she doesn't know this person or she um, has nothing to do with this other person. Meanwhile, yes, they do. And they could even be lovers. Like they could be, you know, getting it on and they're like laying in bed together plotting and at work, they're like, no, I don't know this person. Like, tell me more about why this tower is here for this queen of wands and these messages because of some because of because of some sort of a strategy and a fight and a fight there's a fight here and the five of wands is here twice now with the queen of wands there's some sort of a fight here or conflict about a risk that someone took why are they fighting about this risk here because because of the king of wands there's a king of wands because they're fighting because something was a lie something was deceptive they were trying to be sneaky they're trying to get away with something they were lying being very deceptive calculated and this is the seven of swords is classic planning a murder card i'm trying to kill someone and get away with it and i'm going to pick up all the swords so there's no evidence at the crime scene like that's what this is the seven of swords is someone that picks up their shit at the crime scene and wipes off all the fingerprints to hopefully get away with what they've done that's this card they're fighting about a king of wands who's the same person that's right here who seems to be concerned about people not working together or not wanting to work together because of an illusion that was made here. So tell me more about this fight then here, this five of wands, this fight between these people. Or this fight that's going on right now. About a relationship. People are fighting about a relationship. Nine of swords and someone is very worried or stressed out about a relationship. And a fight here, justice. This might have some, I don't know if it's a legal system or if it has something to do with someone's connections to the legal system or somebody um, setting something up, which is also, again, giving me Taurus reading of somebody setting something up because they feel so entitled that they might have connections to someone in the legal system, right? It's like, oh, I can get away with this crime. It's like the person in the IRS. It's like that, the husband who works for the IRS, who's like, oh, I know how to commit a crime and get away with it. So this is what we're gonna do. Like that. So why are they so stressed out here about this fight? Because of a gift. Because of a gift. Because of a gift. And that could be this. Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Some sort of a payment. Some sort of a, a bribe. Something that was invested into. Some sort of a investment. A seed that gets planted. Somebody using some sort of money here. It might have something to do with a gift. And this is what someone is worried about, stressed out about here. What's the five of wands? The fight is about lovers. I cannot even, I can't even make it up, guys. Okay, there's a fight going on here about someone's lover or someone having an intimate 
connection to someone, this is something they cannot defend. Why can't they defend their intimate connection that, to the emperor because of an emperor? Nine of Wands, someone is being defensive or there's an emperor here that's relentless. Maybe this is somebody that's asked, they want answers. They, they are asking questions, they want answers and they're being very relentless about it. So that's what's causing the fight. The fight is that someone is trying to deny something, get out of something, create illusions, lie, right? Trying to clean up the crime scene here. But there's an emperor here that's relentless and they want the truth. And this person is concerned because they might have thought that there wasn't a relationship. They thought there was no relationship, no connection, no nobody working together. So this person is, is that what this is? This person has realized that there is a connection between certain people that is very suspicious. Two of Wands, it has to do with someone's decisions or a move that someone made. Eight of Cups, Ten of, temperance in reverse and the eight of cups is about somebody somebody can't heal from something they can't heal something they're trying to leave something behind someone is trying to walk away someone is trying to detach themselves from something because it, it can't be healed who are these lovers who is this relation in this relationship it's, it's something to do with heartbreak or betrayal with a king of swords. Maybe it's a Gemini. Two of swords and the page of swords. So is this a Gemini then with lovers that keeps coming out? And now we have a king of swords. This person feels betrayed or, or, it's, or someone has a relationship to this Gemini or to this king of swords. Take it how it resonates. Blocking some sort of communication or creating a stalemate here. It has something to do with what they were planning here together or planning. Why is this, why is this um, relationship here between these people so worrying or why is it causing this much of a fight? Because they feel trapped by it because it's making them feel trapped. They feel like their hands are tied because of the truth, because of the truth coming out. Because it ex exposes something and it traps them. It binds them to something. It traps them when this truth comes out. So what is this emperor down here so unrelenting about, Nine of Wands? The King of Swords, trying to find out the truth. about a betrayal someone feels betrayed maybe even by a king of swords maybe someone feels betrayed by this person here king of swords or it's about somebody somebody is trying to protect someone somebody could be fighting and is wondering why are you protecting this person like why won't you uh, why are you causing so much confusion around this person? There's an emperor here or a king of wands here or someone is wondering why is someone so defensive? Why is somebody protecting someone maybe? Because it's a personal relationship. The Hierophant, it has something to do with an authority position. The Seven of Wands, somebody here is maybe even using a, a, a position in authority to protect someone or to um, hold someone back or create a blockage. So that's what the fight about is about. It's about someone's silence. It's about someone refusing to say something. Judgment, yeah. Yeah, it's about people that are protecting others that have done something wrong. And it's, it has something to do with connections. And I feel like even maybe intimate relationships, okay? 
but I feel like they've also been up to something. So what did they do here that they're trying to protect themselves from the truth? They're protect, trying to protect themselves something from the truth or the sun with the queen of wands and the strength. It could be a Leo. Someone is trying to protect a Leo, okay? We have death here. What are they trying to um, hide or create an illusion about? Something with a home or something that's been built or something that's within a community. It could be an entire community working together on something. This might have something to do with community. People working together on something, collaborating here with money or a gift. Money, a gift, or something that, a, a gift in a home or something that was sent to a home, a gift that was brought to a home. Nine of Pentacles, it's something to do with this money. It's basically the same thing backwards. There's something here that's tied to a large amount of money. It's a gift, it's an investment, it's a something tangible. It's tied to a large amount of money. And this is what an entire community is trying to work together to protect or hide. It's like one corrupt, corrupt person, like covering for another. That's what it's giving me. Yeah, nine of wands. Everybody's defensive. Everybody's protecting each other. Everybody's trying to defend themselves. Everybody does. Nobody wants to talk. That's what it's giving me. Seven of swords, exactly. With the hierophant, this could be an institutional problem. Where there's, it's kind of giving me an entire institution or an entire police station or an entire building that is basically full of corrupt people. And there's one person I feel like wanting answers and everybody else is being silent and covering for their friend and covering for this person and because they don't want to tell anybody that they've been sleeping with their boss or something like that. Like, I feel like there's someone here having this powerful realization right now. Why, like how interconnected something is and it, and it feels like corruption. If I'm being honest, it feels like the le the three of wands. Why is that here? The nine of cups. Everybody's just, every single person involved is only looking out for themselves. Everybody is doing what they want. It's a free for all. I just heard the word free for all. It's a free for all. Everybody involved is like, what do I feel like doing? What's going to make me the happiest? What, how am I going to get what I want in the future? How can I get uh, this? And how can I make this happen for me? It's like, who's going to, who's going to um, like elbow their way to the top is basically what I'm getting. It's like, it's like, oh, I don't care if I have to, like, I'm getting random shit here, man. I'm getting like, you know, the boss sitting at the table saying, oh, if you do me like, you know, turn off the lights, lock the door. If you do me this favor if you get what i'm saying i'll promote you like that kind of shit like everybody's just in it for themselves like nobody is actually doing what's right anymore like something feels super weird and corrupt here oh god look at that yeah and here we have the emperor and the knight of cups you know what this is? This is like Hollywood producer saying, I'll make you famous if you take your clothes off in front of me and, you know, do what I want you to do. Basically, I'm not going to say what I'm thinking right now, but that's what this is. Am I really getting this correctly here? Is that what this is? It has something to do with the King of Cups. A King of Cups. Who's this? The Knight of Pentacles. This is this is someone who's trying to be strategic here. This is someone. Oh, 
This is who's being questioned by the King of Wands. This King of Cups is who's being questioned. So the, is this King of Wands realizing that this King of Cups has a relationship with this Queen of Wands? Four of Pentacles. Well, he definitely knows, somebody definitely knows that someone is not speaking the truth. They're holding back information. They're purposely hiding information. They could be holding back things that they know. Trying to hold on to some sort of security here. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. A great fortune. There's something with this money, man. It's with the money. It's something that they did with this money. Why are they so, and it's a message of concern for them that somebody here is working on this. Whoever, whatever this is, like a mature man, like I'm like, let's go back to the, the, the video that I saw of this IRS person, right? Who thought they could commit the perfect crime. It's like, there's some, there might be a crime with money and it's like a message of concern that someone is working on this case maybe or looking into something that's outside of their agency. That's almost what I feel like is going on. Like, because everybody within the agency is covering for each other, everyone is covering for each other, is lying for each other, is covering up something that they've done. And it's like a message of concern that there's somebody that's working on this or looking into this or asking questions and it's making everybody else cover up for everyone and lie. And it has something to do with relationships, like intimate relationships that people have to each other. So it could even be that like, you know, if this King of Cups is sleeping with the Queen of Wands or there's something going on between them and, and this Queen of Wands is a connected to an official, like everybody's gonna say nothing. I don't know why is it, like why are they <sighs> keeping secrets? Look at this, it's a secret relationship. Yo, I'm telling you, there's a secret relationship here. So this King of Cups has a secret relationship with someone. With a King of Swords, I can't even. I can't even. I can't even. Look, he comes out again. There's a secret relationship between these two people, King of Cups and a King of Swords. Now, I don't know if this is just work, High Priestess, and whoever you are, you know exactly who these people are, and you feel this. Your intuition is telling you this. If your intuition is telling you this, here's your confirmation. Yes, they are. Now, I don't know what that kind of a relationship that is. If it's just bros, if it's work, if it's... What kind of a relationship is this? A privileged lady. They have... The, it's a privileged relationship. It's a relationship through privilege. So it's a... It's giving me like a relationship through connection knowing each other i know you you know me through this this and that this person like someone here has special privileges someone here like just like taurus reading someone here feels entitled because they feel like they know the president basically it's a relationship based on privilege yeah a mature man is a false person so King of Cups, King of Swords, pick one. One of these people is a mature man and one of them is a false person. And one of them, and they're having a privileged relationship where they there's a relationship here and they're hiding it. They're protecting it. They're pretending they don't have a relationship. They don't know each other. They don't work together, but they're lying. And it's because they're protecting each other. They're protecting themselves. And it feels like corruption. It feels like corruption that runs really deep, okay? And it, it, a lot of it feels like it's based on status and power and entitlement. And I'm important. It's kind of giving me like um, on a smaller scale of like, well, we're the royal family. So, 
so what if we're all corrupt, right? Like, what are you going to do? Okay, kind of like that. And then to the public, they're like, no, we don't know each other. Never seen that person in my life. I don't even know who that is. Meanwhile, they're doing deals with each other behind, behind the table, right? But you'll never know. They'll never say it. Something like that. Because they're all covering here for something that they've done with money. Okay. And a gift. Something to do with a gift. That's tied to this great fortune. This large amount of money here. And this was creating... And I feel like the fact that all these people were covering for each other was what was keeping this confusion going, right? This, I don't, like, nobody can see clearly. Nobody knows what's going on. Nobody can take action. Like, something is just weird. So what is this um, Ace of Wands here, then? This is the, this is the download. It has something to do with this payment, yo, I'm telling you. Page of Pentacles, something with a payment, something with an investment, a money bribe, a new creative endeavor, financial news, Page of Wands, a message, messages, messages about money, about paying for something, and the Wheel of Fortune and the, uh, the Four of Pentacles, and then we have the Queen of Swords here. Okay, so this has something to do with the Queen of Swords and somebody holding something back or holding on to something. What is somebody holding on to here? Four of Pentacles. Something to do with photographs and a surprise invitation or meeting. So somebody's holding back information about a meeting that they had with someone or an invitation and something to do with photographs or some sort of documentation or some evidence or photos. They don't want to give up some sort of photographs. Someone doesn't want to give this up. Somebody doesn't want to like, it's like they're, look, they're holding it in their hand. Like this person is holding this in their hand. And it's like someone is asking them, like, can you give that to me? And they're like, no, I'm not giving this to you. This is mine. No. They're like, can I have these photographs? Can I have this documentation? Can I have these photos? And this person's like, no, these are mine. I'm not giving them to you. Like someone didn't want to give something up here about photographs. About photographs. What's this page of ones? Yeah, and that's, and that's the truth. And that's the revelation. That's why someone is having this clarity or this truth or this divine download or this inspired thought because of this truth, because they're realizing that maybe why someone didn't want to hand something over or why someone refused to give something up or why someone didn't want to give over some sort of documents or photos or something tangible, photographs, something with a signature, maybe documents. Why didn't someone want to hand this over? What's the page of wands? This is the truth. I can't even look. The truth is coming out. Clarity, truth, revelation. And then we have be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light. Now things are coming to light. Because somebody didn't want to hand something over. It's kind of like um, sometimes actions speak louder than words. And I feel like this is that kind of a moment where somebody is realizing why someone is acting that way like even if they're being defensive even if they're refusing to cooperate they're refusing to um hand something over or answer certain questions that's the answer right even if it's not a clear answer even if it's not like a direct answer it's still an answer because somebody is showing you that they that there's something they're hiding right it's like nobody who's telling the truth or nobody who is honest would be acting this way. And that's the answer, right? What's the page of pentacles? It has something to do with money. It has something to do with money. Something that they paid for, something that they bought. They don't want to hand it over. Why? 
and that's this um king of cups over here that was that came out he came out with the four of pentacles too he came out with the four of pentacles so what is it that why does this person not want to hand this over because because of the devil because it would bind them to something because it would bind it would show the truth that this person is lying that's why because they're hiding something that's that's the reason that's why like i just said yeah the truth is that this would show that this person is lying and they would be bound to something it would bind them to something toxic or something maybe even evil i don't know something really nasty dark and twisted greed wrath but i don't even feel that i feel like it would just tie them to something that's very dark it would tie it would bind them to something that they know is like off limits it's kind of giving me like taboo like i'm not even going to speak it into existence okay or I, i'm not going to say it but it's this is what it's giving me it's like when someone at work refuses to show anybody their desktop right and it's like what are you hiding on your desktop man okay and they have like a freak out every time you know people go near their desk it's like what are you hiding on your computer at work like why can't anybody go on your computer at work right and then you open one of their files and they got shit on there that could send them to jail okay for 20 years so if you get what I'm saying, it's like, that's the energy. Like someone here knows exactly that what they've got on there, they is, is really dark and it would bind them to something maybe even illegal. That's what I'm getting. Something that they know is really wrong. So that's why they're telling everybody, you can't go near my desk. You can't go near my desk. Do not go near my desk. That's my desk. Don't touch my desk. Okay. Everybody thinks that, you know, Bill had just has OCD, but no, Bill uh, is into some other things okay let's just put it that way so that's what this is giving me this energy it's like somebody is realizing why someone doesn't want someone to go near their desk it's like what are you hiding man what what's on your desktop okay something like that so what is someone here thinking about four of swords the past someone is reflecting on the past And why, and why something was a failure or why something wasn't working or why someone was not reaping what they were sowing. Maybe if this, it's given me employment, right? I don't know. I keep getting that, like some sort of a corporation or something like that. And it's like, why weren't you doing your job? Why weren't you working? Why was this person not producing any results? Why was nothing going anywhere? Or why was... Um, shit even going down the drain like you know nothing was moving forward here knight of cups could have something to do with a water sign yeah yeah what is this person reflecting on here four of swords someone was being strategically quiet four of swords someone's silence is strategic that is their strategy Someone not saying anything and playing the, oh, I don't know what you're talking about game. That is their strategy. But someone was not showing their hand. Someone was being strategic. They were taking a chance here and being quiet and not saying anything at all. So what's coming out now? The moon in reverse. Something's being exposed though. Four of cups about why someone is rejecting someone. Or why someone is rejected because of because this was betrayal ten of swords and the hermit this hermit is the one that's looking for the answers there's a hermit looking for answers here and he's looking straight at the betrayal this is betrayal it's giving me like this person is looking in on some sort of like an office and he's like, what the fuck is this shit show going on in here? Like something from the outside looking in, it looks like a shit show. Like what is even going on in there? That's what is giving me.
it's like honestly it's i just got this weird visual like i just got this weird visual okay so i just saw an office building or an office room and there's a hermit like like all of the windows are like glass from the hallway so you can look inside and when the hermit looks in everybody is an adult in a suit like sitting on a computer like working but when the hermit turns away all of these adults they like morph into babies or toddlers and they start like playing and throwing shit and then like climbing onto the desk in their diapers like that's what i just got like this hermit is like the the epiphany is realizing what is actually going on in that office when they turn away and all of the adults morph into toddler babies it's like they don't have to say anything but it's like that realization or something like that like that's what this person is realizing like every time i turn away from this room everybody's more all the adults are morphing into like these toddler shitting in their diapers babies climbing on onto the computers like throwing the mouse on the floor like you know papers flying through the office building i don't know something like that like <laughs> what's the moon reverse the wealthy man in reverse yeah somebody is realizing here that there's someone involved here that is very greedy very shallow very materialistic there's shady business going on here wealthy man in reverse this is a shady businessman that is someone that has not built their empire on morals and dignity. This is someone that does shady business practices, okay? Journey. How they move forward. An official person, again, at the bottom. I don't know. And a house. It's like, this could, this is giving me something is not really going the way it's supposed to in some sort of an institution okay what's the star the hank man could be a pisces the magician somebody is realizing that something here was an illusion the high priestess something here is just an illusion okay the six of pentacles about something that was given to someone somebody gave something to someone like this is even giving me like um like let's just go back to holding back evidence okay maybe somebody was supposed to turn over some sort of evidence or some sort of um paperwork or documents or something and it's like before they did they manipulated it like how like that 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 kind of a level of corruption within an agency or an institution it's like they actually manipulate the evidence before they turn it over so that it doesn't incriminate them like that's honestly what i'm getting off of this man i'm not even kidding and then you know this could have been obvious in some sort of way or something you know was just not making sense to someone and that's this it's like why the fuck is none of this making sense it's like but that doesn't match with this and this doesn't match with that and like why is all of the metadata on this scrubbed completely clean off who can do that hmm that's so weird that i just asked for this evidence to be handed over from the it department and all the fucking data is scrubbed off that's weird it's like something like that and then someone's asking questions in the office and they're like oh no we have no idea what you're talking about it was like that when we got it it's like you get what i'm saying something like that it's just something is weird i don't know what's the six of pentacles imprisonment yeah i'm telling you if someone feels trapped because of something that they're supposed to be handing over or they they handed it over or they got money for something or they paid money for something and there's it feels like a corrupt institution, a corrupt building, a corrupt office, a corrupt station, something like that, where everybody is holding together. And some of the people, it's like, why are you even sticking up for this person? They don't even have an answer for you. It's literally just, well, I mean, they're not saying this out loud, but they're probably thinking it. Well, I don't really give a fuck about my job anyway. So, you know, why should I 
lie for my bro, right? Why shouldn't I lie for my bro? Like something like that. I don't know. This feels weird. Change. They don't want change from high honor. I'm telling you. They don't want change. Well, change is coming here. High honor. High on, yeah, confirmation. <sighs> they don't want something to change. So who's the hermit? This hermit is looking into money. He wants to know about the money. This hermit is looking into something with payment. Payment or this hermit received something. It's like, like I said, either they were, they want, they want something and it's not being given to them or like they're asking for it, it's not being handed over, or something was handed over, but it doesn't make any sense. Um, or they're trying to look into something with money, but that's being blocked. Something is just like difficult to investigate here. And I feel like it has something to do with the people that are sitting on the case, that are involved in the case and like implicated in the case and they don't want something to come out, right? Yeah, just throw the whole fucking station away at this point, okay? Despair. Sorry to put it that way, but honestly, like, what is this? I mean, that needs to be cleaned thoroughly, not just with a vacuum cleaner, but get like the, um, the, the, the steam washer in there, or what's it called? That rug thing, right? You need the really powerful thing in here. Yeah, because this is a main male in reverse. Like, whoever this is, uh, okay, who is this? Who is this main male in reverse here? This is someone that either, like I said, this main male in reverse is the person that either handed something over, but it was lacking. It's like, you were supposed to give me the evidence, but there's nothing on it. Or you're supposed to hand it over and this person's acting like they don't have it. Or they just, they paid something to someone and they're trying to cover it up. It's like, who is this person that's acting this way? Who is the person that is hiding things? Two of swords is the person pretending like they don't know what's going on. They don't know what you're talking about. I, I didn't see anything, right? King of wands. So it's a king of wands. It has something to do with a relationship with a king of swords. This person keeps coming out. King of swords. It's this person who's refusing to hand shit over. So... I don't know if it's the king of wands, the king of swords. There's definitely multiple masculine energies here. And it feels like one of them is creating this. Yeah, so there's a betrayal here. It could even be just a betrayal of trust. Because that's what I'm getting more than anything is that someone feels betrayed for trusting someone and thinking that they were like on the same team or on the same side, or I thought we were working together. I thought you were, were in my team. It's kind of like, Give me that feeling of finding out you have a spy in your camp. Like someone might have, someone might have found out they have a spy in their camp or someone is being deceptive, five of wands, and it's causing a fight. They're fighting. It's a huge fight because somebody is realizing that someone has a relationship, a personal relationship to someone. And that's why certain things aren't moving or certain things aren't being turned over or certain things are disappearing. It's really, it's really frustrating. I feel like someone is finding out who they can trust and who they can't trust. Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Someone has been playing both sides. Yeah, I feel like the Two of Pentacles is um, a spy. That's what it feels like, someone playing both sides. And if one more commercial comes, I swear to God, I'm gonna lose my life. Oh. Okay, so what's this Knight of Pentacles? Eight of Swords. I feel like that's what they were supposed to hand over. Eight of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. It's the money. It's something, this could be a bank account. This could be a bank statement. This could be some sort of a large, it's gotta be like a bank account, honestly. Okay, or a fund or a trust or something like that. They were supposed to hand something over here, but they're not because it would implicate them. It would trap them. It would bind them to something. Someone doesn't want to be bound or implicated 
with this trust or this bank account, there's something on it that has incriminated someone and they're refusing to hand it over. They're refusing to do something with this, but with the Knight of Pentacles, it's giving me handing it over. Like someone is trying to investigate something to do with money. And then you have a corrupt, like, if this is like uh, some sort of a station or a department, they're refusing to hand it over. What's judgment? Knight of Cups. The Fool. Why is judgment here? Privileged lady. But why is that here with the Knight of Cups? Something about an offer that was made. Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving and mourning. Someone is heartbroken about an offer, not enough, frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, jealousy. Someone is heartbroken, feeling frustrated, feeling insecure, they feel lost, they're grieving, they're mourning, they're self-sabotaging. Who is this and why? Why is this person, it could be because they're under judgment, it could be because they are being told that they need to give something up or they need to make make someone this offer or bring something to someone and they're heartbroken about it grieving and mourning about it why why is that here for this offer or this knight of cups because of the past because of what they did in the past they're blocking it on purpose two of swords they're like no i refuse to give it up i don't want to nine of cups this has to do with personal happiness they're refusing to. Somebody's refusing to do something. They're refusing some sort of authority because they're trying to lie and get away with it. I cannot even. They're holding on to it. They refuse to give it up. They're holding on to it. This is so strong. The Taurus reading, man. I'm not even kidding. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be a Taurus. Someone here refuses to give up the information, the evidence, the documentation because they feel like it will implicate them. They don't want to hand it over. They're blocking it on purpose. Okay. It's yeah. They're heartbroken about this judgment because of their community, their family, because of a king of wands, because of somebody's family, the knight of pentacles comes out again. It could, have, it could be because somebody wants to um, look through this. Like somebody wants to look at something um, analytically. Like they want to do some sort of like a analytics on it or forensics on it. Or they want to do some sort of a, um, a proof or an audit or something like that. Like somebody wants to look at something and uh, do it very logically, practically. Like something to do with a... I feel like forensics or something like that, like looking at something very thoroughly and with maybe some like special programs. I don't know, like that's what it feels like here. Three of Cups, yeah. But this uh, group is um, very against it because it would be destruction for them. It would mean their destruction. It would be destruction if this happened. Somebody does not want someone looking into something it would be absolute destruction. It would be the worst day of their life. Okay, it would. Three of swords in reverse. They don't wanna go through this pain. They're gonna try and do everything, every which way to, to avoid this, to avoid this. They, they're trying to get away, get away with it. Six of swords, they're gonna try and get away with it. They're going to try and get away with it. Two of Wands, that's what they're planning. That's what they're planning. World, they're going to try and get away with it. 
or they're going to try and make it disappear here. Four of Wands, because if something is connected to a house or a home or a property it, of the King of Swords, whoever this person is, is implicated, I feel. It's either this one or this one. I'm not sure at this point. I'm not sure. It's one of these two. One of them wants answers. Either the King of Swords wants answers or the King of Wands wants answers. And one of them doesn't want to give it up. Okay, you pick which one. I'm not sure at this point. But these are the two that are in this. These are the two that I feel like are in this fight right now. Realizing that someone has been a spy or has been like, um, has, has betrayed them. And it's trying to block something. And that is the moment of enlightenment. And that was the download. That was the epiphany. That was what changed everything. The wheel of fortune. For one masculine here, that changed everything for them. They started to see everything from a different perspective. They saw everything differently. They realized what was actually going on here. It changed everything it changed the whole situation the wheel of fortune is like it's destiny it's fate it changed someone's um path but it's also giving me like divine timing like it was divine timing like i said at the very beginning remember i said that sometimes the gate isn't open to us when we need it the most like we sit in the dark and we don't understand we're like questioning everything we're like why this doesn't make sense this doesn't make sense but it just doesn't hit us because it's not time yet and something just hit someone because it was time it was divine timing for them to see this and realize this and they just realized something really big and it feels like betrayal it feels like be betrayal of trust they're realizing that someone around them that they might have trusted doesn't isn't working with them is working against them is refusing to um, help them or do their job or hand something over something like that and it's a fight and it's a fight and it is a huge fight that's breaking out right now it's a huge fight it's a big fight it's a big fight This is a big fight. This is a. This is not even just a fight. It feels like a battle. This is a battle. Like this is a really big battle because it feels like, if I'm gonna be honest, this feels like something like good versus evil. It feels like there's one person here that is on like fighting for the good side and they're dealing with an entire system of corruption. And that's un unfortunately very prevalent in the legal system, in the justice system in any kind of an agency, if it's just the government, it doesn't matter, there's so much corruption and backhandedness and lies and deception. And I feel like there's someone here that just has seen it with their own eyes. They're trying to investigate something corrupt and they're being blocked at every single turn. That's what it feels like. They're being faced, with, they're being met with so much um, deception and lies and cover-ups and refusing to answer questions and it's like, they're. I feel like someone is realizing how deep it really runs and that they they might have um, trusted the wrong people. Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, someone's being blocked. Being blocked. They were blocked. Or something is blocked. And they're all defensive. Nine of Wands. Everybody's trying to defend themselves here. That's what that's what that's what gave them this moment of enlightenment was when they were asking for something or asking someone questions and they blocked them off. And they blocked them and they said no i i'm i can't talk to you about that or you need to stop asking questions or why do you keep asking questions like go back to where you came from uh you need to stop what you're doing and why do you keep you know getting in someone's business why are you trying to get in our business or why are you you know why don't you just stop and that was when someone realized why are you protecting these people or why are you stopping this why are you getting in the way right now like what are you a part of this like the king of wands the king of wands three of pentacles people working together collaborating together 
because they're hiding this money. It's all about the money. Queen of Swords. And Judgment. Yeah. This person just realized something big, okay? And there's someone here that's answering their calling. And I'm even being drawn to say this, whoever this is that's being faced with this, this person, they can call judgment, okay? And I'm not talking about in the physical world. If they feel like there's corruption and there's injustice around them, they can call judgment to the divine, to God. They can ask for assistance. If they feel like they're alone, if this person feels like they're alone in this battle against corruption, they can call on God. They can call on assistance from the other side and call for justice and call, call judgment on them. And they will receive help and assistance. They will. Okay. Ten of Cups in reverse. And the Four of Wands, it has something to do with a community, a rotten community, and secrets coming out here about actions that were taken. Yeah, and it's been exposed. All right, guys, I feel like that's the reading, okay? So that's about all that wants to come out, too. Let's see who, who this is here for the collective. Someone is realizing that someone has an accomplice, okay? Yeah, or somebody is an accomplice. May, a grandparent or someone's parents. A Taurus could have an accomplice here. Somebody's ex-girlfriend, a chosen one. A Capricorn. We have a baby daddy. An investigator. A religious leader. Or a leader of an organization here. March. A Leo. Someone's sister could be involved. And an earth angel. Yeah. A Gemini. Man, we have Earth Angel out here and, and the police. August, okay? And a secret society. So we have Earth Angel out here and Chosen One. Like, I feel like whoever this person is that is trying to fight through this corruption and this swamp, okay? Um, whoever this person is that's trying to find answer, this person is a Chosen One and Earth Angel. And I feel like that's part of their mission here is to face this corruption. That's what I feel. That's why they're being met with so much opposition. Yeah, and the sun just came out and it's a rainy day. It's a dark day today. So this person is, is I feel like this person is about to go into the one of the biggest battles of their life. And it has to do with the corruption that they are uncovering. That's part of their journey. And that's why this epiphany um, came in divine timing, uh, divine timing. It also could have something to do with like uncovering when, um, uncovering that the people around you have been betraying you and um, have been deceiving you and have been dishonest with you. That is very painful. It's very painful betrayal. So the divine will never drop all of that information on you at once. The divine God and your ancestors, guys, they will never show you the truth all at once because it would be way too painful. It would be way too much for you to even grasp. So what happens is it happens very gradually so that first you start to get, you know, these weird feelings and you get these intuition and you start noticing things and, you know, it comes with time and that's why divine timing is so important is because you need to be ready 
to receive that information when you get it because chances are if you found out that someone has been deceiving you and uh, abusing your trust it's very painful especially if this is someone that you considered an ally right so this was this had to happen in divine timing that this person um, was uh, open to receiving the truth because if it had come any sooner um, they might have not believed it right so it always comes in perfect timing so that we can realize the truth and um, we can make decisions based on there but it has to be like trickled out slowly um, speaking from experience it has to trickle out slowly because everything at once is would be too much for a human psyche to take right um, so yeah I hope this helps okay guys I hope it helps um, thanks for watching until next time bye